As lane six as well from the Czech Republic. He finished first in the third semifinal. Also a good time. He should be strong. Remember, lanes four, five, six are always the top seeds. However, you are always the top seeds. However, you never know in a semifinal it can be a bit laney. So up at the top of your screen in Canada, definitely one of the medal hopefuls for us. And here we go, Tom. A great start. Keep your eye on three boats up from the bottom of your screen. The Belgian Arthur Peters has got a great start going on, but at the top of your screen has got a great start going on, but at the top of your screen is Marshall Hughes from Canada as he's trying to get a good fast start. About 140 strokes a minute, these two blades hitting the water. And Marius Ratto of Germany in lane five is out at about 100 meters. He is just ahead of the field. And Marshall Hughes looks very strong. You can see here he's in his acceleration phase. He's about to transition into his race pace. He'll settle that rate down. He's a big, long boy, very long arms, very strong legs, very connected. You watch the different techniques across the field. Just like canoe, different athletes have different styles. Some are a little longer and a, and a, little, uh, and a little more efficient. Others are shorter and faster. It just depends on what feels good for you. Well, Marshall's certainly one of the fittest kids in this race. He's strong and he's tough. You want long strokes at this point in time in the race and a good glide in your boat. You'll see his feet pushing, the knees up and down. He's trying to engage the big muscles in the back and get the lower trunk going into it. It's not about arms. It's about using those big muscles in your back and hammering through your stroke. And Marshall's going to need to have a big finish. Right now he's sitting in the middle of the pack, but Germany's Marius Ratto is out on the field. They are at about the three, they're about 350 meters into the race, and Marius Ratto of Germany in lane five in the white and red boat with the white and red jersey has got about a boat on the field that looks like second is Argentina in lane three. And then third is anybody's guess, but Marshall is in touch. He's where he needs to be. He just knows that he's going to have to light it up in the second half of this race, and I'm confident he can. Yeah, it's a long race, and you'll see they're going to be coming through the midway point shortly. This is where Marshall Hughes is at his best. This is where he's going to try and start picking them off one by one. And we're through the 500. We're at about the 450 left now, and it is Marius Ratto by a boat over Argentina, and Marshall Hughes has closed a little bit, but the race now for third place is tight up for it with five boats racing for third place anything can happen in the last 200 meters of a thousand meter race there's always an interesting development at the end and now at the bottom of the screen in lane eight Hungary has just turned it on a little bit as well it is still Marius Rado but the Hungarian in lane eight is pouring it on with about 350 meters left a very very early start for the Hungarian Marshall knows that he has to go now he cannot afford to wait Marius Rado, you can see the pain on his face. His boat is still nice and smooth. He is just trying to hold on to this lead that he has held for almost the entire race. He has been in the lead for now 750 meters. He is looking strong, but he is being challenged. And the Czech athlete in lane six is closing. It is going to be a very close finish. At the 200 meter mark, it is Germany by a boat over the Czech Republic and Hungary fighting for third with lane one, Sweden. Marshall Hughes is in touch, but right now it looks like Marius Rado of Germany is in first, but the Hungarian athlete in lane eight is closing fast. And here goes the Hungarian making his telltale move, trying to power it home, but Marius Rado from Germany is really putting on a clinic here as he moves himself around, uses his legs at the end of the race, his muscles are screaming, he's got to get it together now. It is the last 60 meters of this race, and it looks like Germany, but Hungary is coming on very strong, and the Czech athlete is lead as well. It looks like Germany still has a half boat on the field, but the Czech Republic is closing. It is very close, but it will be Germany for first, and second place, I believe, is the Czech athlete, but I cannot tell. And then third lane one or eight for third place. Incredibly, incredibly close for second and third, but Marius Rado, a brilliant race, led from start to finish and maintain that lead. A great race for the German athlete. And here are your results for the A final of the junior men's K1000 meters. Marius Rado of Germany with a 335.3. That is a fast time. He should be very happy with that result. But look at second and third place. So it was the Czech Republic who got second and the Hungarian third. Excellent racing.